Hey guys, my name is Robert. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing Classic Pokemon Yellow. Um, I'm using a transfer pack to play it on my Nintendo 64. In case you're wondering about the uh, the border around the, the screen. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a Nuzlocke. Um, I'm I'm going I'm going to do a Nuzlocke. Let me correct that. But, uh, if you've never done a Nuzlocke before, you don't know what it is. Um, a Nuzlocke is... It, it adds a level of difficulty to the game that wasn't there before. Where, if your Pokemon faints, or anything happens to it, well, if it faints, then it's considered to be dead. And so you have to just, like, release it to the wild, or just keep it in your box and you can't use it anymore. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things. Uh, there's a few other things where you can only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter on each route. Um, and then that kind of limits, it kind of limits the amount of, um, of Pokemon that you get throughout the game. So it, it just makes it more difficult into, in the fact that you can't let, you have to be more careful about, like, your strategies and stuff. Because if you're, if all you guys die, then it's game over. So, right, <clears throat> let's get started. Your name for you. <sighs> you have to, you gotta love the uh, the fat Pikachu's around the border, like uh, if you never noticed. Pikachu has like progressively gotten skinnier throughout the um, like throughout the franchise as it's evolved because Pikachu is kind of like the mascot so he started off really chunky and fat and now he's just kind of like he's he's co completely different from when it first like started and it's just interesting to um to see that see how he progresses throughout the series right so since we can't let anyone die uh, potions and stuff are gonna be really important so I'm gonna take this out there's a uh, there's a theory where cuz in none of the games except for third generation uh, your dad is just kind of absent. Uh, in third generation, your dad is the gym leader. I think he's the fifth gym leader in, uh, the Newburg town or whatever it is. It's not Newburg. I'm sorry. But whatever town it is, he's the gym leader. But, uh, there's a theory that in the first generation games, I don't know if it holds true to, like, the second, third, and whatnot. But in the first generation... There's a theory that there was like a war or battle and your your dad was a part of it. Uh, he was one of the soldiers in it and he actually died. And um, so that's kind of... Oops. <laughs> Stalked him twice. So that's kind of like an, an explanation to where your dad is. Since they don't like say anything about it in game. Which is strange but I don't know. That's what they do. Alright, Old Man Oak is going to show us the ropes. He's just going to throw it? He's, he doesn't battle or anything? And he just catches it. Nice. Alright. <laughs> he, he must have like a Master Ball or something. Whew. Maybe, he's, maybe he's just a Pokemon Master. He must be. Just because he's old doesn't mean he's lost his touch. He doesn't look a day over 50.
You don't get shit. He loves me more than he loves you. I'm not even related to him. Ass face. What an ass. faithful companion until he gets killed and then he's dead forever <laughs> that'll, that'll be great well, what should we name <gasps> excuse me what should we name him it's gotta be something good but I'm pretty bad at coming up with names so I think I'll just name everybody after food and see how that goes We'll name, we'll name him Pizza. That that seems like a good name. We'll name him Pizza. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna say something, and then he didn't. I was waiting. Jesus Christ. This kid just wants his ass kicked. He's got a storm coming. Pizza! Waste. Nobody uses the status moves. At least not in first generation. They're kind of useful in like the newer generation games and like competitive battling. Battling because there's like a uh, there there's a few situations where it would like come in handy to get off like a uh, swords dance or something to like double to raise your attack up a couple stages. But nobody nobody uses like growl. Or tail whip or anything like that. You lose a turn of damage. It's just dumb. Nobody does that. Come on, Nintendo. Get your shit together. Pizza, learn tail whip. <laughs> what? Unbelievable. Said he picked the wrong Pokemon. Eevee's one of the best. He can change into the, like... Well, in these games, there's only three choices, but... In the new generation games, like in sixth generation, I think there's... Like ten different evolutions? Nine or ten? I think it's nine. He's pretty cool. Alright, let's get the map and head out. Or oh, not. <laughs> I thought she I thought she gave you a map. Hmm. Maybe maybe that doesn't happen until later. Let's talk to this kid. I think he gives you a potion. And that'll come in handy. There we go. Nice. Now we have two potions. Game hasn't even like started yet. Whoops. The screen just went black for some reason. There we go. All better. That was weird. Thanks, kid. Um, right. 
I gotta go to the Pokemart and get the package. The parcel. Oaks parcel. I bet it's just like a box full of like Playboy magazines. A dirty old man. Dirty old oak. Whoops. Didn't mean to walk in there. Not quite yet. Pizza! <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty good. It sounds like it says pizza. It sounds like it. That was completely unintentional. But it just kind of worked out. So that's good. Good job, pizza. Robert delivered the Playboys. Ah, this is the custom Playboys I ordered. Thanks, Robert. Check it out. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm I don't I don't know if I'm a hundred percent with this. I'm pretty sure child labor is like against the law. Like am I getting paid to do this? Oh you just guilting in he's guilting me into doing it because he's old. What a jerk. The first, the first generation games, it's not that hard to complete your Pokédex. As long as you have both blue and red games. And yellow, I guess. Yellow would probably be pretty helpful. Because you could get all of the uh, starters on yellow. Which you can't do in blue and... Blue and red. So that would be pretty helpful. But... <clears throat> the only game that I've really completed the Pokédex on is um, Sapphire. I did it on that one. It took a long time, but I did it. And then I came... I think I only had like... I think I only have like 10 left to get in, in blue. And then I think about 30 or so left in gold. But yeah. Maybe someday I'll do them, but... Probably not. There's not there's not really a whole lot of like point behind it, I guess. Like in the new games if you if you complete your Pokedex, then you get the uh, shiny charm, which like doubles your chance of uh finding a shiny in the wild, but in the old games you don't really get anything. Unless you had one of the one of the cool little printers that like printed out your Pokedex, that's cool. I never had one of those, but I always wanted one. Pidgey. Alright, we're going to go up here to the Pokemart, I think. 
right? Do you have to, uh... No. I think you have to go talk to the guy so that he can show you how to catch Pokemon. And then you can go get the Pokeballs. And then the Nuzlocke will kind of, like, officially start. So that'll be fun. Critical hit? Jesus. I did, like, a whole seven damage on me. Do I keep... Is he going up levels? No. Never mind. I keep hearing, like, a ding at the end. And I keep thinking it's, like, him, like, going up a level. But I'm... I must just be imagining things. Probably. I'm going crazy. I've got that Pokemon fever. I wish you could skip this. Like, I am a Pokemon master. I don't need some old geezer to show me how to... Oh, okay. Old man. Sorry. Oh, I don't need some old man to show me how to catch Pokemon. I don't have to do it. Have to get some at Pokemart. Not at THE Pokemart. Just at Pokemart. How silly. Hi there. Well, I'm gonna buy stuff. I have a ton of money. This ten-year-old in a video game has more money than I do in real life. Alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna get seven for now. And then I'll spend the rest on potions and antidotes. I'll get four antidotes. <clears throat> oh no, potions, sorry. And then I don't really need burn heal yet. Because I don't think there's anything that can burn you. But I am going to get like three. Yeah, I'll get like three antidotes. Because if, uh, if Weedle is in, I can't remember if Weedle or Caterpie is in yellow. It might be both. But if Weedle is in here, then he's probably going to use the Poison Sting. And if my guy gets poisoned, then he's pretty much a goner. Because I'm going to have to walk all the way back. And so he'll pretty much just be dead. So, Antidote will be pretty important. Alright, so, <clears throat> I guess I'll, uh, I'll go catch something. Because that'll be fun. Chansey looks like she has Down Syndrome or something. Poor Chansey. No wonder she's in a hospital. I hate how they ha I, I hate how they say that they hope to see you again. Like, what's wrong with you? This is a hospital. Like, I don't want to come back here. Nobody should want to come back here. That's just fucked up. All right, what is it? Hopefully, it's a Pidgey. Nope, it's had a fuck you. I was hoping it's a Pidgey so that we get flying type attacks. That would be a little more useful than just normal type, you know. But I guess Pidgey is kind of useless against the first gym. So, I mean, there is that. The first gym is really hard in yellow. Because you, uh... You get stuck with Pikachu. So, and he's just a, uh, electric type. Where a lot of people bash Bulbasaur. But really, Bulbasaur is, like, the best choice in the first generation games because you go straight from rock to water which Bulbasaur is super effective over on both so yeah 
I don't, I'm not really sure. Ooh, what am I doing? <laughs> Got really confused. I can't talk and play at the same time. My brain can't, can't process it fast enough. But, uh, a lot of people bash Bulbasaur and he's really like the best choice, to be honest. If you're thinking like strategically. But in yellow, you get stuck with Pikachu and it kind of blows. So, the first gym is really hard on yellow. Like, you have to train your people up, like, quite a bit before you can actually, like, do anything against Brock. So, I'll have to train, like, off camera. I'll probably, like, record it. So, if, like, anything, like, I don't know, spectacular happens, which probably won't, but, I mean, you never know, right? So, it's always good to, you know, be prepared. Right, so we we got a potato named Burrito. <clears throat> burrito Rattata, Por Favor. I don't even know what Por Favor means. But I said it anyways. I think it's like my friend or something. I don't know. You can correct me in the comments. Call me racist and whatnot. Right, so... Ooh, I think if you go up here, you have to battle your rival. So, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. Probably just, uh... Run back and forth and train Pikachu up a little bit in Rattata. Um, that, that would probably be a good idea. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a break right now. Uh, if you guys liked the video... Like and subscribe, you know, let me know in the comments what I did right, what I did wrong, uh, what other games you guys want to see, and yeah, <sighs> just like and subscribe and come back next time, see you guys.